Aaron True, MMA Prime TV here with Antonio McKee. Antonio, strange ending to the fight. Pretty much it was even 1-1 going into the third. In the third round, there was a foul that happened. Tell us what happened and what was the result of the fight. Well, you know, um, I took an illegal elbow to the back of the head and I couldn't see out of my left eye. And I told the ref to just give me a second. I, my vision was coming back. And he says, no, if you can't see out of your eye, it's over. I said, but it's just my left eye. I can see out of my right eye. And then he just stopped the fight. So, you know, it's just, uh, I think it's a time for me now to look at the, the youth in the sport and step down. I'm 43 years old, 44. I had a great career. I was honored to be able to fight for WSOF. Um, I, I don't have any complaints. The guy fought was a tough wrestler, a good warrior. He's up and coming, young gun. And I just wish the sport continued to grow. And I have no hard feelings about anything, man. It's just my time to go now. I mean, I've been a, personally, I've been a fan, and I've seen you fight King of the Cage, uh, UFC, uh, several shows around the world. Uh, I think here, also more shows locally. But are you saying that this is this is it? This is the retirement for Antonio McKee? Yeah, this is my retirement. I'm done. You know what? I gave it everything. I'm a great coach. I got a lot of studs coming up. I just don't have what it takes anymore uh, as far as that 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 second gear. It's, you know, you lose it at 35. I've been able to hold on to it all the way up into 40. And now I think, I honestly, before I take some serious damage in a fight, it's time to call it quits. You know, I hate to see you call quits, but we'd love to see you go out, you know, when you're still healthy and have all your wits about you and you can function, you know, and you're feeling good. So I wanted to take the chance, though, to talk about something else. I live in uh, Still Beach, next to Long Beach, and I see how active you are in the wrestling programs and the community there. Can you maybe talk to me about what you have going on with either charity, your gym, or just wrestling, what you do with the community? Well, you know, I have a nonprofit fight for kids. It's for inner city uh, at-risk youth. And even if you're not at risk, just any kid that comes and needs help, I'll assist them. Um, you know, I, I I don't really get I don't get a lot of times to talk about it because I do it from my heart. A lot of people do it to make money, but I really put a hundred percent into my nonprofit. Um, you know, and it's doing a lot of things for a lot of kids, and that's what I'm very happy to be able to do. You know, I came up, you know, poverty stricken, low income area, gang banging, killing, driving by shootings. That's you know, same old, same old. And I just said that there needed to be a program, so I put Fight for Kids together. You know, and it seems to be doing really well. You know, I got a lot of support from the local thugs. <laughs> the thugs keep me motivated because the more thugs we have, the more motivated I am to get rid of them. <laughs> Last question while I have you here. You've had an incredible career, faced some of the most, you know, the top fighters in the world all around the around the country. Tell us, who is the toughest guy you've ever faced? You know, I think the toughest guy I ever faced, to me, it had to have been uh, Heath Sims and Jason Black. That was about 15 years ago, so that was a long time ago. But, yeah, those were probably the toughest guys that I've ever faced. Well, congratulations on an incredible career. You know, wish you were victorious tonight, but, you know, uh, we like to see you go out gracefully into retirement and uh, wish you the best of luck, Antonio. Thank you very much, and I'll be working on that, that uh, Fighters Union for the Fighters.